All right. Glad to be here with you again. We're going to do a little bit of something different this go round. So during grand entry, we want you all to be shouting out, be typing, letting us know where you're viewing from. I know there was a bunch of shout outs earlier, but we want to get all the viewers to chime in where they're at, where they're viewing at tonight. Uh, we're getting ready to start with Grand Entry. They are introducing all of the royalty right now. So we're getting ready to get started. Lots of royalty. Actually, let's go ahead and I think I can get that to you guys. There we go. And you can still see me over there. Anyways. Houston, Texas tuning in. Hey, and if y'all are viewing on YouTube, we're sending a 4K uh, stream to YouTube this evening. So put it up on that giant 108, 120, 150 inch projection screen and watch Denver March live wherever you're viewing from. We got a we had supper break. We just got done with supper break. I want to show um, what was uh, the big deal about supper break. So is that not going? Oh, that's on too long of a loop. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, folks. There we go. How about that? Yeah, that was supper break right there. Shout out to... Uh, I forgot. The Wolf's Plate, right? The Wolf's Plate? Yeah, the Wolf's Plate is running the concession stand. Um, fry bread concession. You can see right there, they make them Pawnee style. <laughs> Shout out to the Wolf's Plate. They'll cater your event. So call them up, get on their list, get a quote, and satisfy your entire event. I think we lost some power here. That's why all this stuff's all weird now. I got like two different two different feeds here going on. So while they're introducing uh, go over tonight's events. Where's my schedule? Uh, I forgot my schedule now. They had uh, really good specials. Uh, I don't see them in the house anymore, but Northern Cree made a visit to sing some specials um, this evening. But it says the Firebread Concession Stand closes at 8 o'clock. So one hour from now, one hour and 15 minutes from now, they'll close up shop. But we have senior adults and adults. And then we got a uh, memorial special. We got a special junior boys grass, teen boys grass, and then the youth enrichment, young men's fancy and young women's fancy, 15 to 24. And then we'll get done somewhere around 10.30. I have yet to go to a powwow that has an ending time on the schedule. So we'll see if we hit that. I know that um, uh, Black Hills, they had a goal of ending at one point. But, you know, whether or not they met that or not. Eh. We go until everything's done with. That's the ending way. It's the powwow way. Apache, Oklahoma, tuning in. 
And you guys, as soon as you guys start logging in, let us know where you're viewing from. Let's pack the house, share all the streams. We're live on TikTok. We're live on Facebook. We're live on YouTube. YouTube in 4K. And then uh, LoneTP.Live. We're live on uh, the website. Let's see here. Get rid of that. Thought somebody was shaking me. I was seeing things. I was hearing things. Where is my... Oh, yeah. So I said earlier you guys should look up Hoka Sound if you guys need a sound system. I have this. Where is it at? I had it just now. But you can find them on on uh, Facebook. There it is. Yeah, there. there. Uh, let's see, which one is that? We don't want that. Is it on two? There we go. Hoka Sound. Dale Roberts. And you can't really see his contact information, but you guys can find him on Facebook. Shout out to the advertisers for tonight's live stream. Sorry, I'm still getting things situated here for this evening. It still says supper break on my on my stuff here. Should it? There we go. Oops. We got a lot of royalty here tonight. So this might take a little bit. Still got stuff going on there. They're lining up. Uh, I'll show you guys. Uh, cameras. They are taking up half of the arena almost. I bet you they will make the arena because there's still 20, 20 or so royalty in the back back here behind me. You can see them back here. This is where the entry is where for grand entry for... Um, Color Guard, all the contestants will come through right here. But there's still quite a few royalty there, so I think we might make it to drum 25 over there at least, drum 24. It's a lot of royalty. Glad they all made it. Oh, let's see. Paris, Ohio. New Paris, Ohio. I haven't heard of that spot. From the Bend. <laughs> Bend in the River, Santee, Dakota. Hollywood, Florida. Hominy. And from home, Paul Nee. Newtown. Shout out JT. He's the one that made the beat that you guys can hear. Oh, I turned it down too, too low. Uh, let, me see. let me know if it's overpowering me. That beat that you guys can hear, that awesome flute, that's that's homeboy right there, JT, C-Boy, shout out. Mississippi, Mississippi, <laughs> Mississippi, KC, oh, are you, are you, did you have any damage from the storms the other night? There were some mad storms, we were splitting, we were splitting all the weather. We're splitting all the weather trying to make it up here because there were storms over here east of us and then there was that blizzard and snow that we were headed into. Let me tell you, Denver got some snow, but uh, they're prepared. I wish Oklahoma would take note on how to prepare for a blizzard, for a um, long-awaited snowstorm. <laughs> There's all of our royalty. Made it all in. 
You guys probably hear everything going on back there. All right, we're getting ready to have drum roll call, so we're going to tune in, see who's all here. Make some noise with your drum. One, two, three. All right, thank you. We know you're all here. You're not all there, but you're all here. I know when I was a singer, we got teased by the MC all the time. Okay, uh, Eugene Rich Bear will be a uh, language a teacher, Wyoming Indian High School. Would like to call upon you at this time to uh, communicate with the Creator. Again, you know, the reason why we pray at the beginning is to call upon our spirit to give us strength and courage to do the things that we need to get done here this evening. So at this time, if you all join me, if you wish to stand, if you wish to sit, that's your choice. Any way that we do it, we're going to communicate with the Creator. So at this time, introduce Eugene Richbear from Machpia uh, Tho. We call it Blue Sky Country. Why y'all, Chris? Like say uh, hello to everyone, and I'll say my uh, prayer for everybody in Arapaho. Why ka kuni be sati pa e hot na besiwa? Pe a hi chabet hand tosti. Ka kuni cha hu ne a hi won he. Ho na sini hi no. Ho ha yo hu. Ho ha se san hi tti. Ho ho hi si sni ha ya hi tti. Ho ha ha ti hi tti. Pe a na me si wa chi ba se hin. Sa wa se ni ta no wa han ta si. Chi ba se hin ni be hi ha no. But ta hi ha. Sebastian, they are not hot now. Bass in it there, no. Chiani on her bay, a chahu, nay, he won her head. Sebastian, Sebastian, the water in it there, not one hand tossed it, a good knee. Chibi nay, I know who he see, had in each other on. Oh, that's any in on the best you are. Had tea, had tea, had on about. Hati ni is the chati. Hati ya thought Nashka Huthi. Chibathin and Nashka. Oh, Nasani, he know, never see war. Hoi, ha ho, no, sir. Thank you, Mr. Rich Bear, Eugene Rich Bear, for communicating with the Creator. I believe uh, we're going to start, start at. Uh, Start grand entry with our uh, number one drum here, heartbeat, and then we're going to jump over to uh, Denver All Nation on up that way. Showtime. No, we're going to start at uh, number 12. Showtime, and then uh, number 11, Den Denver All Nation, Arapo Nation on down with grand entry. We're trying to keep track as Best we can up here. So, uh, showtime, stand by. You have the second song for the grand entry. We'll be uh, going with a uh, heartbeat with the living hoop song. Chris, did you have a break? We got some new people here. They're crowding us out here. Lone TV Productions is crowding us out. Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! 
Vegas. How many of you came from Rez to Denver? How many of you let it ride on red and went broke in Vegas? How many of you know what I'm talking about? Liars. For those of you that don't understand, a lot of our indigenous tribes were down in Vegas at Rez, gathering of entrepreneurs, gathering of people trying to waste reservation money by being in Las Vegas. I don't know how much of that's true, but some of the Indians have come from Vegas I know some of our vendors came from over the mountain out that way to come to be with us. So I want to say thank you to them. I want to thank uh, Lone Teepee Productions. I don't know how this guy does it. I think he snagged. I'm not sure. Oh, she's a worker? I don't know. How are you guys doing back here? I'm talking to you guys. You're not looking at the back of my head. How are you guys doing? I like the hat. It's kind of sexy. I like that. How about you? How are you guys doing over this way? We don't get to see you full on, okay? So I got to talk to you like this. How many of you came to Denver March looking for the lawn and garden show? You're in the wrong place. No? Okay. All right. I'm looking right at him. Looking right at him. Now I got to turn away disrespectfully. I apologize to all them behind me. I'm excited. There are more Indians here now. There are more uh, uh, non-indigenous people here too also, Chris. How many Indians are in the Coliseum? Make some noise. Now, now listen, for all of you woke and politically correct people, I'm not going to be woke or politically correct, so I apologize to you right off the bat. But for lack of other terms, how many white people are in the uh, Coliseum? Make, make some noise. I apologize. I don't know what tribe you are. You could be Scottish. You could be Irish. Some of you could be uh, celebrating St. Patrick's Day right now. All of this time, as an indigenous person, Avoid rushing it. Yeah. I, have br I have blamed my alcoholic tendencies as an indigenous person on the Irish blood that courses through my veins. I'm an Indian. I'm an indigenous person. I have the federal government that can pinpoint the exact percentage that I am of Native American. But I also have that one white man's genes that's in my DNA. So people always tell me, you're acting like a white guy. But I can't prove it, so I apologize. I can't prove it. But I want to say welcome to each and every one of you who have joined us at Denver from whatever walk of life you have come from, whatever religious denomination you are, I want to welcome you. Some of you are older, some of you are wiser, some of you are young and have gone through a lot of things. Some of you are just old and stupid. So I apologize if you've never went through anything in your life that gave you the wisdom. I told everybody in the meeting we have on Friday this morning at 7 o'clock, I told everybody, people that are wise, people that have knowledge, are people that have made a lot of mistakes. 
Because it doesn't matter how many mistakes you make. It's how you get up. It's how you go forth. And for those of you non-native people that are in this arena, as indigenous people, we have made mistakes. We have made a lot of mistakes. And yet we're still here. We're still laughing. We're still singing. We're still praying. How many people do you know that can be completely decimated and still pray for everybody? Still encourage everybody to keep going forward? I don't know too many races that do that. But I want to invite you to be here at Denver. We should be in our 50th year, but because of COVID, we're around 48, 49, something, 49 and a half, 49 and a quarter. I'm not sure. But if you allow yourself a little bit of time, I want to say that you're going to see something quite interesting. You're going to see something and experience something quite interesting. If you take a look at the entryway of our circle, you see singers. If you take a look at the entryway, you see all of our veterans. You see them. They're getting impatient, but I don't care. I have the mic. So I want to say to each and every one of you, as you see our warriors, women and men, as they come into the arena, we don't dust them off and celebrate in November like the United States does. Every time we gather, we pray to the Creator. Every time we gather, we talk about our warriors and the warrior society. And we honor them by allowing them to come in with their flags and our eagle staffs because they were the protectors of our people before we even had a vote in this country. They allowed, the federal government allowed us to keep going with our warrior societies into the armed forces. And we have strived and survived through all of that to come here to be ro relocated to Denver to put on this celebration, 48, 49 annual. And I want to say in a good way, I'm going to ask you to rise. I'm going to ask you if you can to rise. I'm going to ask you if you can to remove your headgear. I'm going to ask you if you can. And not because of me, not because I say so, but to pay respects to the men and women that bring in these flags and eagle staffs. It is their time. And then I'm gonna mention a young woman that is the ambassador for Denver as our princess and all of the royalty that have come to Denver as we come through. And I'm gonna ask you to, to, to make noise, all right? So I'm gonna ask you, Everybody scream! That's terrible. That's terrible. You should be ashamed of yourselves. It's March Madness. Everybody scream! Ah, oh, that's better. That's better. You know, ladies and gentlemen, we have with us a gentleman that has been a singer, Dartmouth graduate, a father, grandfather, and he's also been in trouble with the law, but I don't want to mention that. He's a composer of songs through our Lakota language. His name is Howard Badhand, and him and his favorite daughter are going to render the Denver March Powwow song, A Living Hope, A Living Hoop. And the words in that translation, they're going to say it in Lakota, but to let you know, it means White Mountain people, this celebration that you have is a living hoop from all over the universe, even Grandfather Creator and Grandmother Earth help you and all joyfully come to dance.
So we're going to get started, and I'm going to ask you all in the Coliseum to please rise and remove your headgear as we come back down to a gentleman who needs no introduction, but I'm going to introduce him, Howard Badhan and his daughter, to render that song a cappella, and then we come to the drum, and then we come over to showtime for Cousin. grand entry. Testing. Yep. This song belongs to the native community of Denver. Even though I was asked to compose it, the song that came to me was given by the relief of the mountains west of here. And the song to me was given through me. And uh, so I, I sing this song in honor of all native people here in Denver, Colorado. This is your song.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have our color guards coming in. Behind our... Ladies and gentlemen, behind the Red Moon Military Service Club, we have our Denver March Princess, Lennon Paskamin, and all of the royalty. Lennon, give us a wave. Ladies and gentlemen, our royalty still coming into the arena. Now, ladies and gentlemen, coming into our arena, we have our 70 and over living treasures coming into the arena. Stand by, showtime, stand by. Golden Age coming into the arena. Golden Age, 60 to 69 years of age coming into the arena. Pick us up, showtime, pick us up, showtime. Our traditional category coming into the arena. Hey, 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 hey,
those traditional dancers still coming into the arena. Southern straight dancers. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we have our non muscle wearing grass dancers coming into the arena. Hey, uh, chicken bells, boys. Dancer style. Move it on over, move it on over. Bad War Cloud. Stand by Kingbird. Stand by Kingbird. Listening to the sounds of Bad War Cloud. We got some southern boys coming in, southern straight dancers. Back again with our traditional dancers. Give a shout out to everybody watching us on Lone TV Productions up in Manitoba, DePaul. Woo, good to see you. We got 18 to 39 adults coming in the arena, traditional dancers. Now, ladies and gentlemen, coming into the arena, we have our men's chicken dancers coming into the arena. Hoo Shake them bells, boys. That's your style. Stand by, Kingbird, stand by. Kingbird singers all the way from uh, Ponema, Minnesota. Inviting you out to Obashing Labor Day weekend. Now entering our arena, we have our men's fancy bustle coming into the arena. Hookah! I want to turn up our uh, 
dance music. Grass dancers coming into the arena. All of our categories are coming into the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you standing as all of our categories are coming into the arena. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our women categories coming into the arena are living treasures, 70 and over, our golden age, 60 to 69, coming into the arena. Coming to you live over the World Wide Web. Long TV Productions bringing you Denver March. Ah, you're looking good, dancers. Pick us up, pick us up. I believe that's Zotai. Johnny up there in the booth, can you turn our uh, drums up? We can't hear him. Thank you. Adult Women's Fancy coming into the arena. Adult Women's Fancy. Adult women's traditional coming into the arena. Coming into the arena. Hey, Denver, everybody scream! Ah, that's what I like.
Riley were at the horses. Adult Women's Fancy Shawl coming into the arena. Adult Women's Fancy Shawl. Hoo-yah! Good to see you. You're looking good now coming into the arena at the Denver March Celebration Bow Wow right here at the Denver Coliseum. Women's Jingle coming into the arena. Hey For your grand entry right now, peaceful singers. Girls traditional buckskin club coming into the arena.
us up, pick us up, Warpath, pick us up. Hey Denver, how about making some noise for all the adults are in the arena? Now, ladies and gentlemen, our teen boys and our junior boys coming into the arena. Traditional grass and fancy coming into the arena. Hiya! up, pick us up, leading arrow, leading arrow. Denver singers, Denver singers. Fancy coming into the arena. You're listening to the sounds of Denver singers. Stand by, bad company, stand by. Teen girls jingle coming into the arena. Teen girls jingle. Bad company. Teen girls jingle still coming into the arena. Keep us going. Now, 
ladies and gentlemen, our junior boys, traditional grass fancy. Coming in to the arena, junior boys, 7 to 13. Junior boys coming into the arena. Or should I say running into the arena. You're listening to the sounds of Bad Company. Stand by. Leading arrow, stand by. That's the way, that's the way. Keep coming around, keep coming around. Keep coming around, they're still coming in. Ah, that's the way. Whoop, whoop. They're still coming in. They're still coming in. Paloma Reese in the house. Our junior girls traditional coming in. Junior girls traditional. Jingle, fancy. They're still coming in. You're listening to the sounds of Bleeding Arrow. Junior Girls Fancy coming into the arena. Junior Girls Fancy. Junior Girls Jingle coming into the arena. Junior Girls Jingle. Ah, oh, Cheyenne's in the arena. Good to see you, Cheyenne. They're still coming in the arena. Pick us up, Full Metal Jacket. Pick us up.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, our Tiny Tots are making their way into the arena. All right. Bring them in. Bring them in. Keep us going. Keep us going. Give our Tiny Tots a chance to come around. Come around. Come around. Hold up, hold up, Young Sky Nation, hold up, you'll have the flag song. Ladies and gentlemen of Denver, I'm going to ask you to sit down just for a second. Just for a second, we're going to go to a flag song. We've got introductions. I'm going to give you a chance to rest. Those of you, and I believe there's only a few of you that stood the whole time, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that stood the whole time. Those of you that sat down, that's okay too. Appreciate you standing up. Denver, how about giving everybody here in the arena that are visitors to your beautiful city and state a big round of applause. As we go through life, if you ever watch any of the podcasts I've done for Denver, or if you have watched culture stream on Spotify and Apple you will hear a story that I tell and I leave you to that to go and check that out but it has been an honor and a privilege to serve as one of the MCs for Denver March since around 2005-2006 if you ever listen to one of those podcasts, one of my greatest, greatest pleasures of doing what I do is to announce the beginning of a reign of the crown of the Denver March Princess. And to see that young person grow throughout the year of talking on behalf of Denver March. And at this time, it gives me a lot of pleasure to introduce a young woman who comes from a well-respected family, Lennon Paskaman, the 2023 Denver March Princess, with your welcome. Tense gakio no gumagantic, Nanaskamon gape to go tia uta anuch, Bisamo ganipuet and sigasun, Nagochi oche hiochian, Nanaskam tenawak, gape do tie gakio anuch, Mr. Hen and Askamon ocheoma, Gisagawa saimina, Gawabatama, Nanaskamon oma, Gaugima scoyan oche uta. Hello, good evening, all my friends and relatives. I am Lennon Paskman, and I come from Treaty 6, Sweetgrass, Saskatchewan, Canada. It's so good to see everyone here today. I'm so grateful to have each and every one of you here at the 48th annual Denver March Powwow celebration. Exit. Thank you. Hi, hi.
Also, for those of you on Lone TV Productions out there, Lennon is wearing her Apache clothes this evening. And I think there are 48 other outfits that we got to get to by Sunday. How about another big round of applause for Lennon Paskman, ladies and gentlemen, our Denver March Princess. Everybody scream. All right. We come on over to the Young Sky Nation for our flag song. I'm going to ask you again, ladies and gentlemen, in respect of our flag, the veterans in your family, the warriors, the Agichita, we ask you to please rise and pay respects to not only our veterans, but our flags, which they represent. Young Sky Nation. Thank you, Young Sky Nation, for that beautiful Arapaho flag song. At this time, we're going to come on over to Mile High to render a victory song. For those of you that don't understand, that flag song was equivalent to our national anthem, Native American style, created amongst the Arapaho Nation on behalf of the flag. We come to Mile High for a victory song. I ask you to please stand and pay respects 
to not only the men and women in the middle of the arena, but the flags and the Eagle Staff that they represent. Mile high, if you would. you to please stand a little bit longer if you would you know I'm asked all over Indian country by non-indigenous people why do you call it a victory song essentially your people lost everything why do you call it a victory song and I tell them right away it is not the white man's victory of winning and losing. It is the indigenous victory of coming home alive to our families and to our homes. That is the victory that we celebrate in this arena. So again, I let you know in a good way these things of what we do. And now I'm going to turn it over to this young man here to go ahead and give you all the information about everybody in the arena. I want you all to sit down. I want you all to sit down. Thank you respectfully for uh, paying attention and rising. I'm going to turn it over to Chris, but I want you all to scream one more time on the count of three. One, two, three. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lawrence. All right, we're gonna go into our introductions this afternoon, this evening here, presenting the Denver March Powwow Eagle Staff. We have Misu Boulevard, Ogallala, Lakota, member of the Kokala Kitbox Warrior Society. Presenting Old Glory, the Stars and Stripes, Nick Ohitika Naji, three Iraq deployments. How about a big round of applause 
Presenting the Colorado state flag, gentlemen served the United States Army, Lionel Bell. How about a big round of applause? Next, introducing our color guards. And I was told and promised by Chico that these were in order. So hopefully they are. Introducing the Southern Ute Veterans Association, Ignacio, Colorado. Presenting the American flag this evening, Raymond Baker, United States Navy, retired. Presenting the Southern Ute Association flag, Bruce Valdez served with the United States Army. Check, check, The Cheyenne check. River Sioux flag, presented here by Mr. R. Reaver, served with the United States Navy. The Southern Ute Veterans Association flag, Gordon Hammond, served with the United States Marine Corps. How about a big round of applause for Southern Ute Veterans Association, Ignacio, Colorado. And now introducing the members of the Ute Mountain Ute Tribal Honor Guard. The commander, Kea White Skunk, Toya, Colorado. We didn't get a list of all the members, but here they are. How about another big round of applause for the Ute Mountain Ute Tribe Tribal Honor Guard. Next, we have the Indigenous Veterans of Colorado. Name of the commanders, Jess Gonzalez. How about a big round of applause for the Indigenous Veterans of Colorado. The staff carriers, Greg Phillips, Omaha. Served the United States Air Force. Next we have, gives me great honor to introduce this group, the Native American Women's Warriors. Presenting the Eagle Staff here this evening. Retired United States Army, Mr. Lean Big Man, member of the Crow Nation. Presenting the American flag this evening, retired. United States Navy, Inez Chantez, Amos Arapaho. <laughs> Presenting the prisoner of war, missing in action flag, retired United States Army, Arlene Willis, served the Army Crow Nation. All services flag. Arapaho served at the United States Army, Elizabeth Black. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put your hand together. Big round of applause. Make some noise for our women warriors. <laughs> Amongst our, our nation's women warriors, there's nothing new to us because we had them in the past. Through our ceremonies, they were given that right. Next, introducing the Hickory Apache Nation Veterans Group. First of all, name of the commander, Byron Quintana. Served with the United States Marine Corps and National Guard. And the members following. You can get a list of their names. The American Indian Veterans of Colorado presenting the Eagle Staff here this evening. We have uh, well, the members here, Sidney Redis Jr. United States Marine Corps served in Desert Storm. Yancey Ramage, United States Air Force served in Desert Storm. P.J. McLevin, 
He served as the United States Army. Don Eagle, United States Marine Corps, served with Desert Storm. How about a big round of applause for members of the American Indian Veterans of Colorado. And next we have the members of the Red Moon Service Club of Hammond, Oklahoma. Members of the Cheyenne, Southern Cheyenne and Southern Arapaho tribes. This is the uh, Military Service Club representing the Southern Cheyenne and of the Cheyenne and Arapaho tribes. Here with us tonight, John P. Hoffman, United States Marine Corps veteran, is leading them in. The service members clubs are Rosanna, Jessup, Jessup, Ruby Standing Water, Mary Lou Youngbull, uh, Luella, Luella O'Bear, Carol Whiteskunk, Wanda Whiteman, Ida Hoffman, Jody Jessup, Dr. Natalie Youngbull are the members. How about a big round of applause for the members of the Red Moon Service Club, Hammond, Oklahoma. And now we'd like to excuse our royal team. How about another big round of applause for all of our visiting royalty all over Indian country. Come forward, shake hands with the veterans. While they're shaking hands, the uh, Wichagalata uh, contest we have in the, well, first of all, the judges for the Wichagalata, Heather Sunrose of ETT, Wyoming, Lisa Hill, Oneida, Ontario, Julie Scabby of Browning, Montana, alternate judges, uh, Deshaun Reed, White Swan, Washington, Teresa Jim, Brimwell, New Mexico, these are the alternates, and the um, Wichaglata is the six, number 612 Arbery, and she picked Catch an Eagle to sing. Uh, 458 Matea McCauley, she picked drum number six, Joaquin Luta, and Amani Ironclad, 452. She chose drum number 30, Little Brave. Okay, Zotai, stand by. We'd like to have all the fancy dancers, little guys to the big guys, fancy dancers, the little girls to the big, big gals, fancy shawl. Stay out in the middle. We we'll have a spotlight dance here for our fancy dancers. Microphone over to Zotai. Drum number 15. For your little guys that don't have your bustles on, run back over there, put your bustles back on and come back out. All right, we go right over to Zotai. Hit it, boys. Fancy dancers, spotlight dancing.
Turn the mic up a little bit for our singers. How about a big round of applause for our fancy dancers? Woo! All right, we need our, to get our judges yet for the Wichagalata. Heather Sunroads, Lisa Hill, Julie Scabby Robe. Check in with Kathy over here. Audience, how are we doing out there? Denver, make some noise! <laughs> Louder! <laughs> All right. We're going to be at drum number 28, Catch an Eagle. We have Aubrey over there, number 612. We at the contest and intertribal at the same time. So dancers, come back out. We're in tribal. <laughs> Whenever you're ready over there, wave your brown hand. Been working with Chico many years, and uh, I know his sign language, his body language. Even when he points with his lips, I know what he means. And these will be inner tribals also, so. We'll be going to drum 28, number 6, and number 30, in that order. Wichagalata. In the meantime, dancers, come out, get ready for your inner tribal. Hupo, hupo. Make your way out, all the dancers for your tribal. All right, here we go. Catch an eagle. Yeah. 
All right, thank you. We start out the Wichaga the contest here. It says team. So we come over to drum number six. Mike, Mike, man, take it over there. We have Matea, number 458, Matea McCauley singing with Joaquin Luta. All right, anytime you're ready. This is also intertribal, so come on out, dancers. All right, here we go. Again, in a tribal. Thank you, Matea. All right, we're going to jump over to drum number 
30. Amani Ironcloud singing with Little Brave. As soon as the mic gets there, take off. Judges are there as soon as they get there. Get the high sign. Here we go, your tribal. That's uh, the Wichaglata Teen, it says. Are we going to have an adult one? That is the question. As soon as we get the ballots in here, they're going to be sealed, put together, sealed in a yellow envelope, given back here to the tabulators, put in a computer. I'm going to get some direction here from the arena director. Okay, uh, we're going to go back in order, and I'm going to go back to the, the ones that sang the flag song and victory song. Young, 
Go, 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 hold on. Okay, we're going into the adult with chocolate or drum number 22. Thank you, full metal jacket. We chuggle at the contest over there, adults. We go to drum number 27 for the next we chuggle at the adults. Drum number 27. Adult with chocolate at that contest.
All right, thank you. Drum number 27. Montana Cree. All right, we're going to jump all the way across. Drum number six, Joaquin Luta. But we toggle at the contest, adult women. We'll bring the mic across there. Oh, 20? Okay. Okay, all right. Thank you for telling me. Oh, drum number 20. Over to drum number 20 for Wichagalata. And then number six. Thank you, drum number 20, which adult women, which Haglata. We're going to jump all the way over to number six. While they're doing that, I got, we need some numbers. 244, you need to report to registration. Oh, up here. Up here. Number 1339. 464. Oh. Okay, not that one. 956. And Kira Sandoval. You need to come over here, check in with this young lady, right in front here. All right, we're going to be at uh, drum number six for the adult women we chuggle at. Be singing with uh, Joaquin Luta. All right, here we go.
Thank you, Joaquina Luta. All right, we're going to go all the way back to drum number 16. After that, number 9. After that is number 15. The drums be ready. So we're going to over to drum number 16 for so adult women with Chagalata. Now, quote the word with Chagalata is singing in balance and harmony with the drum, with the men. As soon as we get the high sign, we'll be... All right, here we go. Drum number 16, inner tribal. Thank you, horses. All right, we're going to come all the way to drum number nine. In the meantime, we need these contestants. Number two, four, four. Number one, three, three, nine. And number nine, five, six. And Kira Sandoval, please come up here to the front, to the announcer stand. We're going over to drum number nine. Kozad, stand by. As soon as we get the high sign, and right after this, drum number 15. Zotai, stand by. As soon as I get the high sign. All right, here we go. Kozad. Hey! 
Uh, we need Kelly up here, C. Chico, for the Virginia Quintana special. Thank you, Kozad. All right, for our final drum, adult women's Wichagalata. Drum number 15, we go to Zotai. God, Melvin Young Bear, tuning in from Pine Ridge Res. All right, Zotai. Chico, her many horses. They need you up here in the front, Chico, her many horses.
Uh, how about a big round of applause for the final uh, group of Wichagata for adult women? All right. Uh, all right, let's clear the arena. Go sit down. <laughs> you sound like a crabby old man. I am an old man, but I'm not crabby. Junior Boys Grass and Zotai stand by for a special here. Memory of Virginia Quintana. Uh, let Chico know who's uh, speaking on your behalf. Stand by, we have a couple of specials we're going to do. And then we're going to go right into our uh, adults, I believe. Of course, I could be lying again. But uh, we're going to go into, uh, right now we're going into Memorial Special Junior Boys Grass. We're going to turn the mic over to a speaker. And then uh, we're going right into Grace Gillette's Honor Contest for Teen Boys Grass. Stand by. And then we're going to go to Youth Enrichment, Women's Fancy, Men's Fancy. And then we're going to go right into the adults' one song. I believe, anyway. Living Treasure, 70 plus, you are excused. Golden Age, men and women, 60 to 69, you are excused. All junior categories, all teen categories, you are excused. All the people in the hickey contest that already have your hickeys, you are excused. Those that are still trying to get hickeys, hang in there, hang in there. Those of you that are still trying to get a snag, you have up till Saturday night. Huh? Okay, while they're getting ready here, all living treasure, men and women, you're excused. Golden age, men and women, you're excused. Junior girls, junior boys, you are excused. Teen girls, teen boys, you are excused. Chico, you're not excused. We need contestant 1315 to come up here. And Emma Hernandez. Emma Hernandez, we need to see you up here. Emma Hernandez. 1315, contestant number. Make your way up here. We need a cordless mic down here for Lawrence. He's going to speak on behalf of the family here. Check one, two. Hey, you can see here. 
right in the middle of the mess and the chaos. It's a paper. You got it? All right. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm already tired. I'm already tired. What what we want to do, ladies and gentlemen, while they're they're talking about everything. Her Indian name was White Buffalo Woman. I don't even want to say it. Uh, all the Lakotas in here might get mad. Virginia Archambault is the oldest daughter of the late Clayton and Faye Men's Archambault. They are Hunk Papa from the Standing Rock Reservation in North Dakota and lived in Denver for more than 50 years. Holy man. Uh, Virgie, Virginia is known by her many friends as Gina. Her aunt, Jermaine Eagle, surprised her the summer of 1995 at the Archibald re family reunion by having a naming ceremony for her. Gina was born in Rapid City, South Dakota and moved to Denver in 1962. She has two brothers, Clayton Jr. and Gary, and four sisters. Uh, Lavon, Lavon, and Yavon, and those two are twins. Uh, Christine, and Christine has passed on to the spirit world, and Gail has also passed on to the spirit world. She was married to the late Joseph Mike Quintana for 36 years, and they had two daughters. <laughs> Faye, who is not with us also, she is deceased and Robin. They are the proud grandparents of Johnny, Charlotte, Paul, Donald, Charmaine, Des, Roger, Junior, Stephanie, Stephen, Clayton, and Isis. Ms. Archambault attended North Dakota High School in, I mean North High School in Denver. She was actively involved with the softball leagues for over 20 years. As a player, then a coach, she has coached youth softball and women's softball teams. Gina also served as a secretary of the Native American Bowling League and was a member of the White Buffalo Council. Gina uh, worked at the Western Trading Post, Montgomery Ward, and other Denver businesses. She was employed by Denver Public School System for over 20 years as a food preparation technician and a food server manager. Virginia has been involved with the Denver March Pow for 28 years. Initially, she volunteered wherever needed, but has served as a corporate officer for the past 19 years. She chaired the registration committee from 1990 to 2001. She chaired the feast and concession committee until she retired from the Denver March Pow Wow board in 2018. She loved to watch the category that we're gonna see, the Junior Boys Grass, and so the family is sponsoring this special in memory of Gina, who is dear and is missed by all of these people right in front of us here. And so, as we do in remembrance of those that we love, we have a special. And as we sit here and remember Gina, mom, grandma, we think, as we watch these young boys perform, that if we side glance for just a moment, we'll see her here laughing and enjoying this moment that we're bringing to Denver March. And so we don't want to be some way. We don't want to be somehow. We just want to honor her memory and do something that she'd love to see at Denver. And so at this time, So we want all of the junior boys grass dancers 
to come on out. And I believe nobody was excused, so. Showtime. Are you there, boys? Family has asked you to be ready. We appreciate you and all your songs. Showtime. I'm going to give a last call. You know, I hate hearing last call. So this is a last call for Junior Boys Grass. I hate that when they say that. I won't say that. I hate that. Junior Boys Grass, come on out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'll, I'll say final call. There we go. Gets me lonesome when I hear last call. Because you know me, I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. So, Junior Boys Grass, you should be out there. Our judges are already coming out, right, boys? Our judges are already coming out. They know who they are. Move around the arena. You're going to get one song. And we're going to pick eight out of that group. And then you're going to get a second song. And three of you will move on to the finals. And five of you will get consolation. All right? So showtime. We want a song, but we don't want a straight song. Okay? We're, we're going to act like we're two songs in. Okay? So no straight song. Change it up. You know what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to this special. Can you make a little bit of noise for the family? Showtime. You are on the air. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Don't move. Freeze. 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 All right. The judges are going to pick you out. Now listen to me. Listen to me. All right. Out of respect for all of these wonderful people that are honoring you here. If you get picked, you're going to go to the next round. But if you don't get picked... I'd like you to come and shake hands with all of these people because you've made them very, very happy. Even though you're not getting to the money round, we want to say thank you. All right, pick them out. They're going to pick eight out of this group. If you get picked, come up over by me. Come on over this way. There's two right there. Three. Come stand over here. 
All right. Come stand over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six. I got six. There's seven. Do we get them all? You guys got about 11. You guys forgot how to count or what? All right. Now, the rest of you guys, I'd like you to come over here and start at this end and shake hands with all these people that have fundraised and gathered money to have a special on behalf of their loved one for you guys. So thank our family. We appreciate them. How about a round of applause for all these dancers, ladies and gentlemen, being respectful. I really appreciate it. You know what Chris told me, Chico told me, and so I'm obliged to do this. Maybe you guys think I'm bad for doing this, but I'm at the age now that if you don't tell young people what to do, they won't know. And so I'm trying to tell our young people in a respectful way, this is the way of our life. You honor those that brought you here. You honor those even though you don't win. You shake hands. You say thank you for having a special at Denver so I could dance at it, you know? All right. And now those, I don't know how many they were. I'm not sure. Somebody lost count. Are there nine or something over here? What's going on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. So I'd like the rest of you finalists to come through this way and shake hands with all of these people because you're all in the money. You're either going to get first, second, third, or consolation. You're supposed to go through and say, thank you, Auntie. Thank you, Auntie. There you go. Good job. How about a round of applause for these young men there in the finals? Showtime, we're coming to you for another song just as soon as they get out there. Come on out, boys. Use the whole arena. That way it makes our judges get all the way out in the arena too. All right. All right. Last chance for any water or coaches or anything to come in the arena. Last chance. All I can say is all eight of you are in the money. You're going to land either in consolation, first, second, or third. I want to say congratulations to each of you. All of our family, you have made them happy with your dancing. Denver, how about a round of applause for all eight of these young men out here? Showtime, if you would.
everybody scream. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Now our judges are going to get together and three of you will be picked out and five of you will go to the consolation window. Now remember, Denver, even if you're not related to one of the winners, even if you no, don't know them, but you like their style, you like what you saw, make some noise if they get picked, okay? And at the end, those that are left, we're going to make some noise for them also. All right, here's the first choice right here. Not in any order, just a finalist. There's a finalist right there. All right, we're going to pick another finalist here. There's a finalist. Here's your final finalist. There he is. Now, you five that are out there, hold on a second. Denver, would you play them off with a big warm, warm applause for these five that dance their hearts out? Come on up. Come on up over this way. Shake hands with the family. They got a little bit of something for you. I'm not sure what it is, but it's consolation. All right, showtime. We got one more song. Grab your championship song for these junior boys. Your choice. Your choice, boys. All right. Everybody's shaking hands. All these boys are winners. Good job, good sportsmen. On any given Friday, Saturday, or Sunday afternoon, any one of these guys could have come to the pay window. All right. People want to know right away who are the consolation winners. Ben Daniel, all the way from Poplar, Poplar, Montana. Oh, Pablo, Montana. And you? Wallace Tony from Denver, Colorado. Ashton Lyons, all the way from Winnebago. There were two more. Here's another one right here. Consolation winner. Charlie. He said, I can't give my, my last name out because you're a stranger. So Charlie, he's, he found some money too, so he's going to McDonald's. Just needs a ride, he said. Was this the other one right here? Hayden Iron Shield, all the way from Denver, Colorado. All right, there's all our consolations. And now the three, we don't know what place you're going to be. We'd like you to come on out in the middle. We've got one more song for you. This is first, second, and third. We just don't know what order. All right. Uh oh, the family's requesting a, a shake song. You guys got one of those, boys? Shake song. Showtime saying, why are you trying to stump us? It's an old time shake song. You know what to do. You guys are pros. And it wasn't me. It was the family. So.
short and sweet shake song. You got it? All right, they said they're ready to go. Showtime! Everybody scream! the last one standing is your champion. It. Come shake hands, young man, with all these people. I want to introduce you to third place all the way from all the way from over there in Denver, Colorado. Omani Claremont. Third place. This gentleman comes from Pine Ridge. He's second place. His name is... Avery New Holy Mountain Sheep. I think I know your grandma. And this is your champion right here. He comes all the way from... Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. I'm going to mess this up, so I apologize right away. Nabali Pikani Shabala, your champion. Also, showtime. The family would like you to come up, shake hands with the family. I have a little bit of something for you, singers. We appreciate you. And somebody's going to take a picture, right? Hopefully, somebody's going to take a picture. All right. How about another round of applause for these three? How about a round of applause for Showtime? Some wicked tunes, boys. Good, good. Oh. Good job, good job. Oh, a lot. 
section. <laughs> You know, on behalf of uh, the family that are all gathered here, all of the family that is here, they all loved this individual. And I got to know her by coming down here to Denver and joking and teasing with her. And today, I want to say on behalf of the family that these things that we do heal our pain and suffering of a loss of an individual. They don't heal everything all the way, but they make those days just a little bit brighter to get through. I want to thank you, Denver, for honoring our family and giving us this time to celebrate the life of Virginia, to celebrate her long-standing time on the board, and to be here watching with all of you as something that made her very, very happy as to watch these young boys compete, that you were able to spend that minutes with her. So we want to say thank you to each and every one of you. How about a big round of applause for this family making their way through? Oh. Family has gifted me with some uh, a blanket and some uh, envelope here. I want to say thank you. And uh, this lady, if you don't know her, always keeps me deep in tacos and hamburgers. So. Although she has a significant other, I really appreciate her. From the family, this is what we wanted to do. Enjoy the rest of the celebration here at Denver. Go it's! I believe uh, Here we are again, ladies and gentlemen, as our wonderful family is making their way out. I have another family that I want to talk about. And as we gather at Denver, there are so many people that make coming to Denver in the Coliseum a reality. 
just about, for those of you that don't understand, not even a month after we're done, maybe April or May, we start preparing for the next year. And there's a whole board that takes care of things. And there is one person who seems to get the recognition because of all of the families that she touched, all of the singers, all of the dancers. And she wants you to know in a, in a humble way that she may be the person that everybody tries to recognize from the Denver March Committee as the executive director, but it is all of the board, it is all of the people that make this happen. I just happen to be the person that they contact. I happen to be the person that they come to see. But as I was raised in Fort Berthel on the MHA Nation as a Sakhnish woman with my family, they always told us that if you're recognized for something, you need to give back for that honor of being recognized. And Grace here was recognized with an award from the mayor of Denver. And again, in a humble way, I can't express enough that it isn't just her that got the award. They had to put somebody's name on the plaque, she said. But it is all, again, all of the staff and the volunteers and even the little people that come to help us during the time of Denver that we get recognized for. And so she was recognized with an award and so she wanted to give back. When she was a younger woman, she had a nephew and at the time, fancy dance was all the rage. And there were only a few adult men like the late Dean P. Fox and Wade Baker and all of these different ones as adults that kept the grass dance alive. There were not very many young boys, teenage boys, that wanted to be grass dancers. Everybody wanted to be a fancy dancer. But her nephew, Milo Chase, from her sister Sylvia and Warren, Milo, he danced this style of dance. And I grew up watching him, and he's no longer with us, my nephew, or my sister, or Warren. They're, they're not with us. They're just not with us anymore. But I saw his enthusiasm to dance this style. And for some reason, it always catches with me as I watch the different dancers dance. And there are some young men that I've asked to help me with this special. And I've watched them dance, all of them, literally since they were little boys. And I watched their fathers dance. And I'm close friends with their grandparents from this community. And so I wanted to honor them. And one of the young men who is not here, he is a, a descendant from the late Bill Baker, his daughter, Betty, his, her son, um, Shiloh, and his son, Wyatt, well-known dancer as a young man. And so I wanted to honor him, but the storm kind of scared him a little bit so he didn't make it down. But I have two of these young men Wombody Claremont 
and six of Cascabi robe. I'd like those two gentlemen to come out and we're coming over to Heartbeat. We're coming to Heartbeat for a song. Grace said in, in the mayor's honoring of me, I wanted to honor and say this much about this to give back to the arena. And as I go through life and do these different things, before COVID and now, I'm not that much of an older person, but I sure feel it every morning. My get up and go has got up and went. And so with that, I'm strongly in the nature of trying to turn everything over to the next generation that will carry on Denver March for the next 50 years. And I really feel honored today that somebody was watching our organization all these years and has finally recognized us. Again, it is not the award that has my name on it. It is the award that all of us as the community and people have done. But I will honor that honoring of our community and have a special. And so at this time, I wanted to honor, there were three of them, but now there are two because of the storm and that's all right, we're gonna keep going on. We've asked uh, Howard and Heartbeat to render a song of exhibition for these two wonderful young men that I've watched grow up. And before you guys dance, Grace said to each of you, don't embarrass me and mess up. She didn't say that, that was me. I'm joking. All right, here we go. Now they're thinking about it.
Check one. I, I got a mic now, so I'm going to talk again. Uh, I need these judges. Joel Omiso, Royce Kingbird, Hunter Street, and Wakia Flitter. All right, come on over. Help us out. Stand by showtime. Stand by showtime. Now, I... I don't want those girls to disappear. You're supposed to hang out here. Come out here. Jonna, come out here. I have to go back and explain what happened. And uh, they took the mic away from me, so I, I have it back now, so I'm gonna explain. I didn't know we needed to dress rehearsal for all of that that happened out there, but Someday we're going to get our Indianess in order and we'll figure out whatever. But there are four ladies. And they are Michelle Flying Man. Come on out this way. Mickey Wildcat. Early Don Roy. And Jonna Denny. I didn't use any of their married names. They're all mad at me. That's how I know them. And that's how I'm telling Denver, so you know them also. But these four ladies, these four ladies, how we do and what we do. Grace said, I gave these four ladies opportunities to help the committee and to run with some stuff and I didn't have to explain and I didn't have to show they just did what they were supposed to do and they found answers and solutions where everybody else sometimes finds questions and no answers they went out and did what I asked them to do and I didn't have to hold their hand or walk them through a tutorial I just said, here, I need this done, and they did it. And so that's why I have honored them with these blankets. And I cannot say enough that I appreciate and love each and every one of them for all that they do, not only in their families, but for the Denver March family. And so I wanted to recognize and highlight them as my dancers danced over the blankets and to recognize them in that way in honoring them and sometimes I tell Chico and I tell Poncho and I tell all these different people everything we do seems to be just practice we're gonna get it right someday but it's those things that we do the spirit and the intention of honoring these young ladies was there and also the dancers who have gotten there uh, ready to come out into the arena we appreciate each and every one of you. These are teen boys, and this is 13 to 17, 13 to 18, right? 13 to 17, I think. You got all your judges, boys? All right, we're going to come to showtime. Evidently, you know what songs to render and in what order and how to. So I'll leave it to you guys. want to recognize grace said i want to recognize my great grandson thomas bearstail who's not dancing with these young individuals because he's my grandson and he's honoring all of us in that way of teaching 
And so I want to recognize him because he also is a good dancer. And I appreciate my grand boy stepping aside to give the uh, visitors, as they used to say, a chance. I believe we're ready to go. Uh, Denver, are you still with me? Make some noise. On the count of three, I want everybody to yell bingo. One, two, three. All right, now you can say you, you called and yelled bingo at Denver. You're in. Showtime, song number one. That young man who lost his bells to keep dancing. can hear you now. How about a big round of applause? You're going to get another song. Move around. Move around. You're going to get another song. You know, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, those of you that are uh, real fanatical grass dancers or dancers of any sort, when you come into the arena, you're challenging the drum and yourself. And so you're supposed to be prepared and ready to go. And when you have an accident, like you lose your bells or you lose your roach or you lose something, you usually step back. And I want to say thank you to that young man. He did that, but they picked his bells up and we asked him to continue on. We're a long way from home, and we don't want to uh, stifle any young person if they're not prepared, because this is to help all of our travelers that came to Denver. And so we don't want to penalize or say they can't, but I wanted to acknowledge the manners and the mannerisms of that dancer because he was taught well. So how about a round of applause for that young man? We asked him to join back in. Used to be a long time ago, uh, Chris used to say, you must have been raised right, you know? So again, we want to say thank you for you. And we're just about ready to go to song number two. And again, like I said, Showtime knows the order. Showtime knows what's going on. And after this song, we're going to ask you to stay where you are 
Our judges are going to pick eight of you out of this group. All right? And again, I ask all of the rest of you participants that maybe don't make it to the eight to come and respectfully shake hands with the family that is sitting up here because it's their efforts that put forth the money and the, the prize money and all the different things to have this special on behalf of giving back to being honored. Showtime, we come to you for song number two. Here we go. Judges, move around, judges, move around. Stay where you are. Everybody make some noise. Stay where you are. It kind of feels like we're already done with contest, doesn't yeah. it? We still got a whole contest to run, all right? All right, judges. Also to let you know as the judges pick and bring them up, uh, bring them up to Steve over here, Steve Arino. He's right here. Uh, they're going to bring those finalists over there. Uh, Thomas said on behalf of his grandmother, he's great. I really appreciate dancing. And uh, I want to add uh, $20 to each of those consolation winners. So they have a little bit more. And so we have three, four, five. So... Consolation will have $20 more from uh, Thomas Bearstail. Thank you, Thomas. Four, five, six, seven. Is that right? We got them all? One more, right? Maybe I'm not counting right. I thought it was seven, but count them. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Did we pick one more or no? It's coming. All right. That finalist is coming through. He's going to shake hands over here. And we appreciate the rest of you shaking hands. How about a round of applause for those that didn't make it right there, ladies and gentlemen. Given some sportsmanship. Want to thank the family for having this special. Honoring them here at Denver, all of them. They got to dance in a special. Now all of them are heading to the pool. Ah. Good job, good job. What did I tell you? All right. Man, what a good job. Good job, young men. You make us proud. You make us proud.
I believe uh, Steve Chico excused all of the golden treasures, golden age, juniors and teens. All we have left to do are adults and senior adults, I believe, right? Yep. All right. These are the eight finalists. Look them over. Like I said before, I know you don't know everybody in the arena, but if you like their style and they get picked, make some noise for them, all right? The judges are conferring over here. I believe they're going to get two more songs, I believe. Or is it one? They're, they're deciding right behind us. So we'll find out. Denver, are you enjoying this special? What do you think of these young men? Grass dancers. This is a whole society. Holy macaroni. These guys are talking. Our judges are talking. You know what they're talking about? They're saying, I can't believe it. Last night at 1 o'clock, I went to Walmart, and there's no bags at Walmart. I had to buy my own bag. All right, so what's going to happen? Boys, you're going to get one more song. Four of you are going to go on, and four of you are going to get consolation. Is that right? All right. Are you ready? They're all looking at me. Are you ready? Showtime's ready. We're ready to go. Judges are ready. Song number three. Make some noise. All right, stay where you are. Our judges are going to pick four that are going to move on. And the four that are remaining will get consolation. And so here, no. Oh. 
These ones are moving on right here. These three, is there one more? This guy right here? Okay. And these are consolation right here. These are the consolation. This first consolation winner, what's your name? Myron Archuleta, all the way from Okay, Owinga, New, New, New Mexico. Consolation winner. Camden Croft, all the way from Browning, Montana. Browning, Montana. Gary Reynolds, all the way from Pine Ridge. Darian Augustine from Ethan T. Wyoming. Those of you that don't know, each of these Constellation won winners won 120 apiece. So then they're no longer called gas money, they're called McDonald's money. Good job. We're going to write down these four right here. And... Uh, They're going to dance this song all the way through, and they're going to pick at the end that young man, uh, Darian Augustine. You see him out there. He was the guard for the state champions in ETT. Right? Wyoming Indian School. High school. So we got a state champion out there. Yeah. All right, we're just about ready. These four are in the money. First, second, third, and fourth. Joseph Canta, are you out there? Raise your hand. Is anybody cheering for Joseph? All right. Jackson taking a lie. Put your hand up. Is anybody cheering for Jackson? Roman Rasmussen. Is anybody cheering for Roman? Last out there is Cal Youngbear. Is anybody cheering for Cal? If I had any time, I'd Calcutta them, but I don't have any time, so. Are you boys ready? Nobody's going to pick you out. You're going to dance to the whole song, and then they're going to choose afterwards. Showtime. Championship song. You are on the air.
All right, we're gonna line you up. Need, might need some help out there. Do they want one more? I, I don't think we can go one more. I don't, I don't think, I don't, how about you, Denver, you think we can go one more? I'm just joking, holy man, you guys are, you guys are cruel, cruel. Maintenance, we might need some help, maintenance. Fourth place. I believe this is uh, Jackson taken alive. You know, for those of you that don't know, if you've ever placed in a dancer or anything for any special, Grace always tries to get the beautifulest, best envelope to everybody that places. And in her special, she's just given money, not even an envelope. Oh, we, oh, we. That was fourth place. Now we go to, uh, well, they're still talking. Third place. Third place. Joseph Canada, all the way from New Mexico. Second place. This is uh, Kale Youngbear. Oh. Kale Youngbear. Kale Youngbear from where? Maple Plain, Wisconsin. Kale Youngbear, all the way from Maple Plain, Wisconsin. Second place. This is your champion, Roman Rasmussen, all the way from Oneida, Wisconsin. He said, I'm not a state champion, but I am single. And I got $500 in my hand. Don't lead with your money. Don't lead with your money. All right. Good job. I still need a... Uh, uh, housekeeping or maintenance to help us out. We need the cone of silence. We, we need somebody to take a picture of our winners over here from the family and the judges. Judges, get in the picture with all of our winners over here. Help us out. They're all shy now. They don't want to go over. Wait up, you guys. Wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. Winners, wait up over here. We want a picture with our judges and the two main guys over here. Get over here. We need a picture. All right. Chris, stand by what? All right, how about another big round of applause? Yeah. 
You know, ladies and gentlemen, way, 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 way back when, there was a young girl. There was a young girl by the name of Paula Roulard. And as we lived here in Denver, Paula became the princess of the Denver March celebration. And she traveled with grace all over Indian country, far and near, to celebrate Denver March. And Grace said, I got to know Paula real well. And each and every one of our royalty have gone on to do other things in life. But Paula went down a different path. She is no longer with us. She did some things and wasn't able to make it back from what she did. But during the time of my friendship with Paula, there were some things that were said between us, some wants that were between us. And at the time, Paula was having a hard time. She came to Grace and said, I'm trying to clean up. I'm trying to make my way. And can you help me? I have something that I want to hawk to you. Not only to help me, but for safekeeping. And Grace, you will know what to do with it at the time. And Grace said, I really love that young girl. And I did not know what to do. I did not know what her wishes were to be. But through my life experiences, my own loss, and the different things that I have endured, I know what to do on behalf of Paula. There was beadwork that was given to me. And today, I want to give that beadwork to her daughter that is sitting right next to me. Akira. There are a lot of times and people that want it to to do something with that beadwork. And I said no. But today I know. And so in the love that I had for Paula, I wanted her daughter to know that even though she couldn't make these efforts, there was something that she wanted to do. And today I want to fulfill that for you. And so I believe in this suitcase, is the beadwork of your mothers. And I want you, when you think of your mother, there are a lot of things, but you need to forgive and move forward because these things honor us. And we want you to carry them on, even though she wasn't here, to give them to you. I know from your mother what I wanted to do, and this is what I wanted to do on behalf of you. 
not only to encourage you, but to say you have a long lineage and I want you to keep going and doing. I don't want you to feel upset with your mother. I don't want you to feel these things that sometimes that negativity flows into us. You can't help what she did. We can only carry on. And you, as the beautiful person you are, are going to carry that legacy on. And so this is what Grace wanted to do on behalf of Paula. This is what we wanted to do. We're going to turn it back over to Chris for the rest of the doings. Go, Itz. All right. Thank you, Lawrence. Uh, right away, we need these judges. These are Silas's judges. Janae Topaz, Santi Medicine Bear, Brady, Uriah Littlehoop, Marie Black, Cheryl Kozad. You need to come up here, check in. Also, uh, our other judges, uh, Parker Bearstail, Jimmy Peters, Kelsey Standing Rock, Casley, Kelsey Standing Rock, Darwin Goodwill, Emil Hermeni Horses. We need you to come up here, check in, stay up here. We're going to run the contest right straight through. We also have the youth enrichment. And that will be next. Young Women's Fancy, 15 to 24, stand by or come out. You know, when I see specials like this, it just, uh, I guess just being older now, I'm an older man, I, I get a lump in my throat when they do these things. But judges, if I called your name, we need you to come up here, report in. In the meantime, we need our women's fancy, 15 to 24, the youth enrichment. And right after that, we're going to go with the uh, adult and senior categories. We're going to rapid run you. So stay ready. We're not going to be calling you out. Let's go, let's go. 15 to 24, fancy, women's fancy shawl. I believe we're at uh, Pawnee Yellow Horse, drum number 26. 26. This is Youth Enrichments, as we announced before, that these are the dancers that just come up from the, uh, maybe the juniors up to the teens, Hard, having a hard time placing once in a while. And the older ones up to 24, they just come out of the teens. They were champions in that category, but now they have to compete with the, the old standards that have been in there for the adult uh, women's fancy. So give them a chance to get a little recognition, a chance to uh, show who they are as dancers and as individuals. Got all our judges. I've got to go. It's 10:30. We've got to go. <laughs> yeah, we're Lawrence and I are union, so 10 at 10:30 we're gone. So. <laughs> all right, here we go, Pawnee Yellow Horse.
How about a big round of applause for Youth Enrichment, 15 to 24, Fancy Shaw. Okay, line up the long way. And look at Chico. Next, we'd like to have the young men, fancy dancers, fancy feather dancers, make your way out. Montana Cree, stand by. The youth enrichment, 15 to 24. Men's fancy, make your way out. Chico said, let's go, let's go. Hurry up and wait. The hurrier I get, the behind her I get. Okay, when we finish here, we're going to go to the adult categories, 18 to 39. And we're going to go back and forth from um, women and men, back and forth that way. And judges, be ready, because we're going to rapid run. Judges, stay here. Don't go any place. I'm going to hold up the works. So now we have the youth enrichment, 15 to 24. <laughs> yeah. Chico must have had bullets for breakfast. He's shooting his mouth off at us. <laughs> How about a big round of applause for these beauty, beautiful young ladies, 15 to 24, youth in Richmond. Hi, hi, Hitler. Oh. <laughs> Thought he was giving that sign. <laughs> Chris, all weekend we've been getting stop in the name of love. And then all of a sudden, Chico puts his hand up like this and says, How, Kimosabe? <laughs> I don't know what it's all about, Chris. Yeah. But when he, when he kind of shakes his hand like this, he's asking a question. All right, now we got the wave to start. All right, Montana Cree, hit it, boys.
Hey, how about a big round of applause? Men's Fancy, Youth Enrichment, 15 to 24. Judges, we need you up here in the front in the chairs here. We need Janae, Santi, Uriah, Marie, Cheryl. We need Parker, Jimmy, Kelsey, Kelsley, uh, Darwin, and Emil. We need you up here in the front. How many of you want one more? Women's jingle, start making your way out. Yeah, come back tomorrow, you'll see some more dancing. Okay, we're gonna go jingle, grass, fancy song, fancy bustles. What's up everybody? Lone TP Productions, Arthur Talkney here, owner and producer. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up, we're getting ready to really fly by with these contests so stay tuned stay tuned afterwards for a brief word we'll wrap it up for tonight but we're going to have all the adult and senior adult contests coming at you coming at you right up you're calling for dancers right now thank you everybody for tuning in hit that like that subscribe follow what is it on tiktok I don't know on TikTok. Do that same thing on TikTok as well. Once they get the drums sorted out here. All right. Let's go back. Catching Eagle, you're on the air. Stand by grass. Let's go. Catching Eagle. That's your best one song.
Uh, how about a big round of applause? Ladies, come forward. Come over here. Line up right away. Men's grass, you're up next. Men judges, make your way out. Men's grass, 18 to 39, you're up next. And big Cottonwood Creek, this time for reals. Judges are ready. Chico is ready or not. Big Cottonwood Creek, take it away. <laughs> Women's Fancy, stand by after this. Men's Fancy, stand by. Boys, come over here, line up. Big round of applause for our grass dancers. Women's fancy, make your way out. Women judges, out to the center. Women's fancy should all be out there. Judges, the next 
drum. All right, here we go. Next drum. Thank you, little babe. All right, ladies, come over this way. Line up right away. Hurry, hurry. Miss Fancy, you're up next. We'll come over to Heartbeat. We need the mics over at drum number one. Men's Fancy should all be out there. All right, here we go. Heartbeat. Take it away. by Kozad.
All right, how about a big round of applause, Men's Fancy? Stay out there, stay out there. I'm gonna give you one more. Drum number nine. Drum number nine, stand by, Kozad. We'll come back to order right after this song. So drum group, stand by. Kozad, <laughs> take it away, boys. Make them dance. Also stand by Zotai. Round of applause. Line up, boys. Next, we need the women's Southern Buckin and Cloth. Zotai, stand by. Drum number 16. Women judges, make your way out. Women's Southern Buckskin and Cloth. Okay, go ahead. Santi Witt, we got your wallet up here, your driver's license. Sotai! Time to sing for these ladies. Zotai. Uh, let me start. Northern women, buckskin claw, stand by.
Beautiful. How about a big round of applause? Come over this way, ladies. Next, we'd like to call the northern buckskin and cloth. We'll come all the way back here to lame deer. Drum number two. Northern. We're at northern traditional men. We're at northern oh, traditional okay. men. And then we come back to northern buckskin and cloth. And then we go to southern straight. And then we come into seniors, and then we come to chicken. So stand by in that order. Drums 30 to 25. Go see Corey Reeder for day pay. Drums. Northern traditional men, 18 to 39. We come back to drum number two. Lame deer. Is that right, boys? Girl, smile, you're on Lone Teepee Productions, all right? Somebody might see you. Also, I got a, a text uh, from somebody watching us on Lone Teepee, and they said that, uh, Silas, straighten your collar. It's been bugging somebody on the internet. I don't know why. They said they're your relatives. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll tell him. All right. All right, Lame Deer, take it away. Come over, line up, boys. We need women's northern buckskin cloth. River Bottom, have a song ready. Hey, 
Right after that, uh, men's is that Southern Street. Yeah. Men's Southern Street. Right after this, East Coast Singers. Stand by. Right after women's Northern. All right, River Bottom. Take it away. We still need drum groups 30 to 25 to come and get day pay. River Bottom. Hookah. Beautiful. Ladies, come over this way. Line up. We need Southern Street. 18 to 39. East Coast. Singers, stand by. Speaker, uh, mics, we're running to 17. Mics, we're running to 17. Then we'll be back to f three or four. Don't forget about the people on the end, judges. Don't forget about people in the middle, judges. Don't for <laughs> Everybody smile. You're on Lone TV Productions. Next five, uh, 25 to 20. Drum groups, 25 to 20. Southern Straight, we're over to drum number 17. East Coast Singers, you're on the air. Hookah.
Stand by, senior women, 40 to 59, fancy shawl and jingle. Stand by. applause for our Southern Strait. Come over and line up. We need our uh, senior, women. senior women's fancy shawl and jingle. Right after that, we go back to the chicken, 18 to 39. Drifting bull. Drifting, drifting bull, I believe. Senior women. No, we're back. Drifting Bull, are you northern? Drifting Bull. 20 to 15, drum groups, come on over. Drifting Dr Bull, take it away, boys.
a round of applause, ladies. Come on over this way. Line up. We'll have the chicken dancers, 18 to 39. And we'll be going with uh, White River Crossing. And by. And before I g become that master of chaos, I'll let Lawrence take over after the chicken dance. We need uh, drum groups 15 to 10. Come on over, 15 to 10. All right, White River Crossing. applause for our roosters here. Thank you, White River Crossing. Line up, boys. Okay, Lawrence. Before you all come up and ask for another one, you all bucked off. We're moving right down the line. We're coming on over to Northern Southern Traditional. We'll get them tomorrow, boys. We'll get them tomorrow. Northern Southern Traditional women, eight, 40 to 59 years of age. 40 to 59 years of age. And I believe uh, Steve... We're going to stay with uh, Northern tonight, tomorrow in the finals. We'll go to Southern.
for these groups in the seniors, so stand by for that. We're going right down the line. We should be over to uh, Waukea Luta. Stand by. We are at Northern Southern Traditional Women. Stand by. Grass, Fancy, and Chicken, 40 to 59 years of age. All right, says so you ready to go. Wakia Luta, you are on the air. There you have it, Northern Southern Traditional Senior Women, 40 to 59. And now we're going to call out our senior men, 40 to 59, Grass, Fancy, and Chicken. Stand by. After that, we have one more category, and that's Northern Southern Traditional Men. All right, just so you know. Senior men, 40 to 59, Grass, Fancy, and Chicken. We're coming on over to uh, Little Iron. Are you still with us? All right. All right, Little Iron, you're on the air. Stand by. 
Stand by, senior men, 40 to 59, Northern Southern Traditional. Little Iron. Ah, there you have it. Come line up. We got one more group. Thank you. What's going on? You want another song? All right. We're going to move right on down the line unless you pick somebody else. We should be at uh, Red Earth. You know what we're looking for? Hookah. Red Earth. No, the other one. The other one.
<laughs> there you have it. Come line up. We're going to do our last category of the evening. Senior men's 40 to 59, Northern Southern Traditional. Come on out. Stand by. Singing for you will be Arapaho Nation. Drum number 10. Drum number 10, Arapaho Nation. Drum number 10. I believe all of our, Corey, all of our drum groups came, or you got 10 to 5? Drum groups 10 to 5, come on over. 5 to 1, come on over. Arapaho Nation, are you there? All right, we got adult men judges judging, so we're going to go as soon as they're done. We'll come to you. Stand by, flag bearers and Eagle Staff carriers. Right after that, we'll come to you. Take out our staffs. Arapaho Nation, you are on the air. Judges, you're judging this one too. Men judges, you're judging this one too. Stand by, Denver All Nation, stand by. They can hear you now. Come line up. Woo! Denver All Nations, are you still there? We're going to come to you for a two and four exit of our Eagle Staff and Flags. Go home. 
No more. Just judge it. Lone TV Productions is already judging you. How come that uh, 40 to 59 were acting up? I said, I don't know. They're all divorced, that's why. <laughs> Couldn't hear the song, they said. Yeah. I blame politics. I don't know. I blame politics. Chico, are you going to grab them right out of this group right here? Or what are you going to do? Are they still here or no? All right. Staff carriers are out there. One more. We can't even go to the pool. One more. I don't know about you, but every powwow I've gone to, after the powwow, the line for McDonald's is out the door. Even they, even though they have an all-night menu, it's out the door. And then I always say, babe, let's change it up. Let's go to Chick-fil-A. They close at 7 o'clock. Can't keep up. You got them all? Chico, you ready? All right, Denver All Nations. Take them out.
Ah, oh, thank you. Somebody left the Tiger Girls here. What's going on? Somebody left them. Want to say good night on behalf of uh, Lone TV Productions. Those of you've been listening to us all Friday, we'll be back here Saturday at 11. Is that right? 10:30 will be royalty, or 10 10 o'clock will be royalty. Want to say thank you and good night. We were supposed to be out of here at 10:30, so tomorrow we'll be out at 10:30. Thank you to everybody that's tuned in, that's watched the entire powwow with us. Yes, good night, many blessings, safe travels to wherever you're headed. We'll be back here tomorrow, uh, bright and early, 10 o'clock, 10, somewhere around there. But yeah, good night, everybody. Oh, shout out to our advertisers and our sponsors as well put those up there real quick. <laughs>